All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm wearing my bro Jacob Keller's jacket. I'm actually gonna call him a little bit later. I texted him, and so I will be FaceTiming the man that actually created this jacket in a little bit and just talk to him about it briefly. However, I'm currently in Chicago. I met up with my brothers from a London, a London Tings. as you walk on still, obviously. Yo, walk on still, yeah, obviously. How much I get right there? <laughs> Got my man Ben McLean filming. Anyways, we are going to go to Chicago. I'm gonna film a little outfit of the day, and then I will talk about this jacket that this video is about. So I'll see you guys there. Interrupted by a doorbell. 352. Who the hell is this? I get up quick, cops my shit. Stop the dogs from barking, then proceed to walk. It's a face that I've seen before. My nigga sing he used to sling on the 16th floor. Check it. I look deeper, I see blood up on his sneakers. And his fist gripped the chrome for fifth. So I dip, nigga. Is you creeping or speaking? He tells me C Rock just got hit up at the beacon. I opens up the door pitiful. Is he in critical retaliation for this one? Won't be minimal. Cause I'm a criminal. Way before the rap shit, bust the cat shit. Puff won't even know what happened. Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Let the gunshots blow. Somebody got to die. Nobody got to know that I killed your ass in the mid. Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Let the gunshots blow. Somebody got to die. Nobody got to know that I killed your ass in the mid. Uh, bitch. I just want to stop the video here and apologize for ruining this beautiful family photo to the left. They look absolutely horrified. I swear I did not see them taking a picture, but I'm assuming based off of their eyeballs and their facial expressions that I absolutely destroyed their family picture. But hey, we could be family. Anyways, let's get into the uh, review of this jacket. Oh my goodness, I'm finally back. All right, guys, so I was going to post the FTP video today. However, I didn't really shoot much for FTP while I was in Chicago, except for some extremely sick Instagram photos. So if you guys want to see those, of course, Go check out my Instagram. It's going to be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. I also took some pictures in this jacket as well. Now, this jacket is from Bare Knuckles. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is actually from a friend of mine, Jacob Keller, who basically I met through this whole YouTube thing. I actually met him through like a Karma Loop model contest thing. And then he actually was the one that I saw doing YouTube videos. And I was like, I didn't even know people did YouTube videos like that. I was already buying tons of clothes. So then he just kind of shouted me out for making him like a little intro for his videos. But anyways... Um, yeah, man, I love this jacket. I want to go into some of the details about this jacket so you guys understand. I'm hoping they do a restock. If they do restock, he was saying that it'll be the only time, and the only reason they would do it is because they made such a limited amount. I was talking to him on the phone. I believe he said online there were only 50 jackets for sale the morning that this dropped. So think about that. Like, this jacket is super limited. Like, there are not a lot of these in the world. He did not see this to me. This is not sponsored in any way. I hit him up, and I let him know, like, yo, I really want to buy your jacket. I want to support your clothing. I really like the jacket, the jacket's grown on me, and I'd really like to buy, is there any way that I can send you money now and then you can ship one out because there's no way I can make the drop time because I was busy working on a photo for Instagram. But I love this jacket, I love the details. One of my concerns when buying this jacket was that it wouldn't fit like a taller individual because it is kind of cropped. Also, this jacket is made for what Jacob likes, so it's made to fit his body style, and Jacob Keller, like myself, is a little bit shorter. However, when I was in Chicago, I actually had Paul Cantu try it on, and it looked really good on him as well. Even he was surprised that it looked really good even on someone who is a little bit taller. Obviously, with this style of jacket, because it's a little bit shorter, it's better to wear your pants up like sagging with this jacket probably wouldn't work. And I was talking to Jacob, and I really couldn't quite put my finger on it. I think he articulated it best, but this jacket is kind of like has a vintage vibe but with some modern details, right? So you can see it's kind of washed. It has that really washed vibe. He actually showed me on FaceTime what the color of this looked like before it was washed, which I'll actually show you guys that right now. And I got the idea of the stripe. The stripes from um, Greaser, oh, here we go. I literally have it on my board. 
So this dude right here is wearing a striped jacket. And I was like, damn, that would be sick if we did a denim version of, I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, yeah. you can. We did a denim version of that striped jacket. So that, this is this is why it's printed right here on my, on my board. It starts, oh, let me see if I can hear it. This will be crazy for the people. Let me see if I have a picture of what it looks like before we wash it. So that has two, has three washes on it to strip all the color away. Um, so this is what it looks like. I don't even think you've seen this, Jacob. I, no. This is what it looks like before. Uh, so it's just super black and super red. And yeah. Fuck. So like, look at you. It's not even. It's just like it's basically like you could set it on the ground. It would stand up on its own. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that kind of gives it that vibe are these buttons. And I forgot where he said these buttons are from. Man, all of like the the hardware is like made in Italy, like. Cobrax, the buttons we use for that is um, they just got bought out by Riri like a few mm. years ago. So like it's like a Riri based brand, and the zippers that we use are Recogni, which is made in Italy. Recogni is the same zippers that Rick Owens uses for his Ramones. So it's like so you guys didn't take no shortcuts, basically. No, no, no. Like that was the importance. It was like bitches' garments are great, but like the zippers that they use, like you know, they're YKK. They're not like insane quality. Yeah. So we wanted to take like stuff that we love wearing from like you know the 80s and then just like make it with that's the interesting best thing that we have now like in 2018 but if you look it kind of has like a vintage vibe but the buttons themselves are very modern you have that gunmetal gray very polished very flat it looks very modern with these details and then the rest of the jacket just kind of has like this vintage look because it is so washed and the fit of it is really wide but also really short he also talked about what inspired that fit which i'll roll that clip right now as well so that jacket was based off of a denim a vintage denim jacket that we had that was like a big size, but it was washed so much that I think it shrunk vertically. So it like was super short and wide. And I was like, but there was like some things we didn't like about it. So, you know, in fashion, you send stuff as samples and references. Like we sent references for a lot of these pieces. So we sent that down as a reference and we told, you know, all the things that we wanted to change about the fit. But yeah, so that was what, like what we were inspired by was like this vintage jacket that we had. A lot of this first collection was inspired by vintage pieces that we had that we liked the fit of. Um, and just wanted to put our like modern, higher quality twist on. Now when I first saw this jacket, I believe I even said this on live, and I mentioned that the jacket kind of reminded me somewhat of the Supreme Levi's collaboration they did this season where they have like the pinstripes. However, you can't even compare those two things, and the reason for that is because the fit of this jacket is so unique. I know that the fit was inspired by a vintage jacket, but honestly, it doesn't even fit like that because it fits, it just fits a lot better. If you go to a thrift store, you find a large, thrifted denim jacket it'll fit wide but also the sleeves won't be as they just won't fit as nice as they do on this jacket usually it'll be shorter wider with really baggy sleeves that don't really stack that well this jacket just genuinely fits really good in my opinion now i did go for a medium you could go for a large however i don't think that the height difference is too much i think it's more about the width and like i said depending on how you rock your pants it's still going to look good whether you're short or tall also i like the thickness of these stripes with the supreme levi's collaboration i just felt like the stripes were so thin that it just I don't know, man. I didn't really care for that jacket like I do with this one. I thought those pieces were clean, and I could definitely see some people pulling them off, but I just feel like this jacket genuinely just is a lot sicker, in my opinion. I love the colors. I love this kind of, like, washed red. It just, it looks so freaking gorgeous in person. Like, it really, I don't even know if the camera will do it justice. I hope so. You can see the little bare knuckles tag right there. I wonder if it has, like, a medium tag anywhere. As you can see, the inside is very clean. I don't even see a size tag. I don't know if it's down here or what, but you can see that, like, the tag just has their brand on it. It's just super clean, bare knuckles, and uh, yeah, man, I'm really stoked to add this to my collection. I've really been feeling denim jackets lately, and uh, this is definitely a nice piece to add to the collection. It's honestly one of the best fitting denim jackets. I feel like I could wear this thing all day, and it's just super comfortable, and I'm really, really stoked to see what he does. I'm going to include some footage of us FaceTiming after this so you guys can kind of hear from him directly, but on their website currently, they do have some shirts and a couple pieces that are a little bit larger. They have size 36 pants. So if you are a bigger individual, check out their website. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. Also, according to him, the next drop will be in October, I believe he said. I definitely recommend checking out their Instagram, which will also be below as well. So you will see their Instagram and their website down in the description below. When you follow their Instagram, make sure you turn on post notifications and story notifications, and then stay tuned for what they do in the future, because I'm really excited to see what they drop. Also, if you are an XL, I'm telling you, I don't even know if they still have it in stock, but if you wear an XL, or I don't know if they have a double X, but if you wear an XL, 
check out that Bare Knuckles t-shirt because I'm really sad I did not get that. I really wish I would have got that C, but it would just be too big on me at this point. I just think that t-shirt is super sick. And their price points are actually reasonable. Jacob Keller buys a lot of higher end stuff, so when I first heard he was making a brand, one of my concerns, even as someone who knows him, was that it was going to be priced a little bit too high. However, I feel personally that these prices are actually extremely reasonable. This is cheaper than the Supreme denim jacket. His shirts are about the price of Supreme higher end t-shirts. It's all made in LA. It's all made in the US, so it's definitely a brand that I would recommend supporting. I especially like when I see brands emerging that are ethically sourced, and that's something that he did take into consideration. I thought that was really sick. So that's just another reason why I think you should support this brand. Like I said, check them out on Instagram. Check out their link below. If you are a size XL and you do not buy that t-shirt, then you will regret it for the rest of your life like I did myself. But let's roll some footage of me and him talking on FaceTime. I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below as well. When you follow me, also make sure you turn on post notifications and story notifications. If you want to see that FTP video, smash that like button. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I hope you guys all have a lovely freaking day. Yo, we are back at the hotel. We got the man himself. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I'm in I'm in Chicago right okay, now, man. I didn't even know. Yeah, bro. The man of the hour, the creator of this beautiful jacket that I'm showing you guys today. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, right, this is the the OG right here, the OG of YouTube. Probably the reason that a lot of your favorite YouTubers currently make YouTube videos on fashion. So like, he's real humble. So I gotta give him the intro so you guys know who this man is. What's going on, everybody? I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. So being that you obviously haven't done YouTube in so long, obviously you have such a passion for clothes. This is something that you've been passionate about for years. So what do you think was one of the biggest reasons why you waited so long before you decided to come out with clothes? As many people that have like followed me and as much as people have said like, you know, I helped them start. I, I'm still, and I was, and I still am like nervous that if I make clothes, no one would care. I felt like if I had someone else by my side pushing me, and we could put two heads together, it would just become twice as good. So, you know, I, me and Cole worked together at Macus, and we were like, fuck it. We kind of had the same style. We, had, we like, every time we, like a new brand came in or like new pieces came in, we always wanted to buy the same thing. Like, we just were like, oh, that's dope. Like, we had the same eye for the same pieces. So we were like, shit, why don't we just make our own thing? And a lot of the stuff, almost everything on the new collection, we agreed on. And, so it really worked out. It was like a perfect mesh. I don't know. I just needed to have like another entity pushing me. There's like you, dudes like you who just like fucking go get it. And like my friend Tom like just goes and get it. But I'm kind of a guy that like, I just like need of that little extra motivation. So that's kind of what it was for me. I know I just rambled about that. But were, cut some. Yeah. Were you, were you surprised at how, uh, at the response of it at all? Oh yeah. To see well, I mean, my phone and the Shopify and the PayPal notifications was crazy. It was, it was crazy. It, I, I felt like I was supreme for, a, um, <laughs> I don't know, I just came up with a few cool jackets and cool pants and I was like, I want these for my wardrobe and then we just made them. I don't know if I can do this day in and day out, it's just hard, man. But I think if you, but I think that's thinking. awesome though, the fact that you're not forced to make a bunch of stuff and you're literally just right, making what right, you want, right. like, you know, and I think that's one of the things, like one of the things that we were talking about was that, you know, your stuff is like, everything that you made is wearable with almost any style, you know what I'm saying? Totally, totally, and that was really important to us. Like. We were just talking about like Rick Owens. Like Rick Owens, like if you weren't a fashion kid and put on Ricks, it would look like Rick's shoes. It would look kind of weird. But when you wear a full Rick outfit, that's what he intended his brand to be. Rick Owens was meant to be worn full Rick Owens. Whereas Bare Knuckles, yes, it looks good all together. It looks amazing. It's what we designed it for. But each piece can be thrown into anyone's wardrobe and look good. Like you, you don't, you only bought the jacket, but look at it. it looks amazing with what you got on already in your closet. Thank you. So bro. that's like. With the whole point of our brand. Out of everything, what do you think is your favorite piece? Each piece of this collection kind of is like a what I want to design and what Cole wanted to design. Like Cole really wanted to make the work jacket. And then I was like, okay, well, I really want to make this denim jacket. And Cole really wanted to make those straight leg pants because that's what he wears a lot. And I was like, well, I really want to make this skinny pant, the skinny selvage pant. Um, so the skinny that's jeans sick. and the... And the denim jacket are definitely like my two favorites because those are the ones that I really wanted to make so I could add them to my own wardrobe. We would have made way more if we knew it was going to sell out that quickly. Um, well, you guys only, do you mind if I say how many you made? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so, so I, I mean, I guess you didn't tell me exactly how many you made, but you guys, you said you sold less than 50 online. Less than 50, yeah. That's yeah, crazy, yeah. like, so literally, yeah, like. Yeah, the people out there are lucky, man, yeah. Yeah, when but, you guys are looking at this, like, legit, there's not even, there's, you know, less than 50 of you guys have this jacket like that's crazy right. yeah totally that was just because we didn't have 
fun, like a ton, like we all funded this ourselves. Like, Definitely proud you, of man. you. I'm proud of what you're doing. I'm really excited thank to see what you, you do with October. By the way, if you guys go follow their Instagram, make sure you turn on post notifications and story notifications for when they do have new drops. And so, okay. like, man, I'm definitely, like, I was telling Jacob he needs to make a couple more of these denim jackets, man. You need to. You need to, bro. We, yeah, we might, we might do it. We might do it. If they do... I'm telling you, we might just, yeah. If, if we do it, it'll be the only time we ever restock. We're going to we're gonna try to beg him to drop these denim jackets, you know? We're going to try to beg them to, to give the people what they want, but... Right. You know? But anyways, man, I appreciate the, the call, and uh, yeah, man, I'm really happy to see what you're doing, and I hope it continues to see success. Thank you, man.